For God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Beloved of God, if there is one person you should rely on all the days of your life that will never fail you, that will never forsake you, that will always stand by you, that person is God. Everybody else may fail you. Everyone else may disappoint you. Everyone else may leave you. But he have said, he will not leave you. He will not forsake you. So can we really find that one person that is faithful? The answer is yes. And we can find it in nobody else but in God. Even your parents may fail you. Your siblings may turn their back at you. There were times you thought your siblings would be there to help you. And you were shocked to see that those people in your family that were well placed, that you know are very comfortable, that were supposed to be there for you, to see to it that you got the education that you needed, to see to it that your business did not crumble, they all disappointed you. You don't need to hold them in your heart and bear grudges. You don't need to carry them in your heart everywhere you go. You need to let go. You need to let them go and trust on the God that is ever faithful and trust on the God that is always there to provide everything that you would ever want. You need to trust on that one who is very faithful, who will gladly be with you, who will take off all of your bodies and ensure that you are never alone in whatever challenges that life throws at you. He says that you should come unto him when you are burdened and he will give you rest. That is because when others are forsaking your body, you won't forsake your body. When others are forsaking your trials and temptations and troubles that you have been in, when others are looking at you falling into that trap, when others are seeing you falling into that pit, his hands are always stretched out to see that you are saved. He's always there to see that you are helped. So when men forsake you, do not bear grudges. Do not be bitter at them. Just turn your eyes to God and let him know every single person has forsaken you. But you know that he cannot forsake you. Every single one has turned their back at you. But you know that he cannot turn his back at you. And I want to assure you, beloved, that it will come true for you. So that one who is faithful, who will be glad to be of help to you, is saying that you are never alone in those things you are going through. Yes, that person is Jesus and is there to help you at all times. He did promise to be with you to the end of the age. And I want you to draw consolation from that. He did say that all of the plans that he has for you are awesome plans and he will see to it that you receive them. So he's always there to be of help to you. He's always there to see to it that you are really, really helped. He didn't plan also to be with you only during challenges and hard times, but at all times. He promised to be with you till the end of the age, through all the episodes, through all the phase of your life. So even when you are not forsaken, still go to him because he says he will be with you always, both in good times, both in bad times, both in ugly times, he's always there to cheer you on. He's always there to be your support. He's always there to be your springboard. When you need to fly, he's always there to put you on the shoulder so that you can soar. You see, Paul wrote to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 4, from verse 16 to 17. And he says, At my first answer, no man stood with me. But all men forsook me. I pray God that they may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. Beloved, first and foremost, I want you to know that every single one who may have forsaken you in life, please do not hold it to their charge. Do not hold them in your heart and do not be bitter about the fact that they forsook you because they are men and every man need help and those ones many times you expect to stand by you they also at some point or maybe at that particular time 
they need people to stand by them. So do not hold it to their charge, like Paul wrote to Timothy. And always have it at the back of your mind that when everybody else forsake you, God will never forsake you. What do you do when others forsake you? Do you get bitter? Are you offended? Beloved, you should refrain from being offended and rely on that one that can never forsake you. Whenever you are forsaken, always remember this. He have said he will be with you till the ends of the earth. It says in Matthew 28 verse 20, Lo, I am with you all the days. I am with you till the end of days. So, always have at the back of your mind and know that man may fail you at any time. Always have that mentality that many times you may call on men and men may fail, but God would never fail. That was why David would always say that when he called, the Lord answered. But many times you have called on men and they never answered. And they forsook you, they despised you, they turned their eyes at you, they turned their backs at you, they turned their eyes away from you. So this is telling you that when man forsake you, you should quickly run to God because he has always been there waiting for you. There was one time Jesus looked around and he found none. And then he would say, his own hands brought him salvation so beloved what do you do when all you thought would be with you in the fight suddenly detached themselves from you what do you do when every single one that you have thought to be of help to you did not come to your rescue i want you to know that god will never forsake you and he will never leave you he will never leave you fatherless. He will not leave you to fight the battles all by yourself. He wants to be there at all times. And this is why he wants you to turn your eyes also towards his direction. Knowing that he is the God that is faithful. He is the God that comforts us at all times. And he is the God that always holds us by the hands. He always see to it that everything that will make our life beautiful he's always there to make it available to us beloved do everything in your power to see to it that you are pursuing that consciousness to run to god always to run to that one who would never forsake you to run to that one who would always help you to run to that one who have said never will i leave you never Will I forsake you? Who have said that it will be your strength? Remember this at all times when man forsake you. Remember this at all times when man are not there to be of help to you. Remember this at all times when those you felt and thought would help you didn't help you. Always know that God will help you and you will have a glorious destiny. You would have a beautiful life. That when they see all that God have made out of your life, they will come celebrating you. When they see all the things that God have made out of your life, they will regret of not being a part of it. And God would want it that way so he can take the glory for all the things he has achieved through your life. He doesn't want any man to come take glory for the things he wants to do in and through your life. So rely on him every time that man forsake you. So rely on him on every moment in time when man forsake you. And he will put smiles on your face all the days of your life. So like Paul wrote to Timothy, do not hold it to their charge when they cannot help you. Do not hold it to their charge when they cannot be of help to you. Do not hold it to their charge when they all leave you. Jesus did not hold every of the disciples that left him guilty he left them be every single one that left him he made sure that he didn't hold it to his heart when they all despised and forsook him 
he still loved them in every case when he returned he still went to them and this is how god should lead your heart every time when people are not there to help you by the time god have helped you still reach out to them and be a blessing to them so that you will know that you are a true child of god don't hold it to their charges every time let them be and god will help you it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom